Well, hello there, generals. B2 checking in. I've got the weekend update a little early. A little New Year's Eve update for Conflict of Nations, World War III, the Chad run through. Uh, so you notice your boy, look at your boy in first, holla, right? So uh, this has been a crazy, crazy, crazy map. So I'm actually coalitioned with Sweden, Ukraine, Japan, and Russia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five of the eight top spots. We're in a really good position. Um, I'm going to show you kind of what's happened on the board, who the active players are, and, and give you a quick walkthrough. So um, we've done really well. Uh, we're struggling with production. It's one of the things. Now, I've taken the troops off the map. And yes, I toggled the political of you because you junkies always ask me that question, right? So just to kind of show you, that's that's the non-political review or view review. And that's the political. But anyway, uh, I toggled my troops off because I don't want you to see what the defense is in case someone's trying to snipe. I'm not too too worried. But if you look at the map here, um, the other coalition that's big is Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Nigeria, and Congo, right? That's the second play. I can show you coalition-wise what, what the board looks like. Um, Spain's coalition attacked us. The details here, France, Italy, U.S., and Spain. U.S. hasn't joined, uh, unfortunately, for France, Italy, and Spain because we are kicking their behinds right now. France is pretty much out. We took Paris down. Italy is getting ready to lose a capital down here. Um, you can tell the troops have been bombing. Um, Ukraine has taken there. They've taken, I mean, they just pretty much, Ukraine has wiped Italy out single-handedly. While um, Sweden and I kind of moved this, you can see I've got some area up here. Again, like, you know, uh, people say like a border gore and all those terms that they use. But the reality is this is a war game. Go take every province as quickly as you can, as fast as you can, right? Like, don't sit around and wait on it. Don't don't wait for your other country. Like, go get those provinces and towns. Everyone that's in your coalition is one that's not in the other coalition. Play to win. So uh, we've got a little bit left here. If I toggle back over, you can see that these are some towns that we've we've raised through and need to go back and retake from from the rogues. We really just we're moving quickly through here. So um, so yeah, a lot going on. Um, Marseille is good. But uh, anyway, uh, we haven't really touched a whole lot of Spain yet. Uh, we did bomb the shores here and here. So you can see we were destroying buildings, causing some destruction so that they had to repair and spend resources. And I think that, that some of these I could probably just go right to and take. But what happened is, is I got into a fight down here um, with, uh, with Algeria and Libya first coming through. Then Morocco joined in. And then on top of that, Spain and France came down into here. So I had to, Spain and France took all this back over and I had to push them back out. So we're kind of fighting a war on a few different fronts. And then at the same time, Mozambique jumped in. Um, they jumped offside, so I had to tag them. Once I beat them back, then these Namibia came over to take the, the south section. He's like a, a little bit of a, a, an opportunist there, but not in a coalition. So Namibia will probably be the target that I move on. Um, much smaller on the grand scheme of things, but only big because we just haven't focused yet. But you can see Myanmar, Brazil, not in a coalition. Um, Namibia, not in a coalition. Argentina, not in a coalition. I would be willing to say there's a probably computer people right now. But look, Pakistan, Congo actually went out. So I didn't realize that they were part of a coalition. UK was part of a coalition. But I could probably go ahead and take Congo out. Never went above the six cities. So I'm, I'm pretty sure if I look at some of these cities, they haven't really done much yet. So not really built, which means they're not going to be researched. They'll have the basic units in here. But the computer looks to be moving some troops here. So, you know, maybe once I come down, I'll take this to back them away from there. But I do believe Nigeria is in a coalition. Yeah, so I don't want to mess with Nigeria. Only 10 cities, though. So wouldn't be too hard. But, you know, I kind of have a, a pact with Egypt and Nigeria not to attack. So I'll probably finish the north side here, come down and take this, this west side um, before Nigeria pushes out just to have some extra land. And then um, my defenses should be solid enough on some of these cities to, if, if Nigeria oversteps. But if I could take out Congo and then Namibia, um, I'd have the majority of Africa on there and then could kind of focus Nigeria and Egypt if it came down to that. 
Uh, but I'd be waiting on these guys to finish Europe so that we can kind of push Turkey out, which Turkey is the main. Turkey and Saudi Arabia are the two big ones, I believe. Let's see. Turkey and Arabia, Saudi Arabia, right? And then Egypt right behind. So, yeah, so a lot, lot going on the board here. Um, Russia is doing a good job kind of brushing back China over here. Japan helping out along these lines as well, taking these territories. So I can go ahead and show you this because I'm not over here. Um, oops, nope, not that one, the helmet. Um, so you could toggle units. I guess it's broken. It's borked. Anyway, hold on. Let me do this. Let me explain. I think I'm going to show my units, but um, if it if it pops back on, because I can get out of there real quick. <laughs> but um, anyway, you can see uh, Russia definitely left some rogue cities behind, and Kazakhstan's just running into some of these places. So so the Russia once Kazakh is out can refocus. But I'd like to see Ukraine move some of these troops in down here. Uh, but I don't want to give away too much of the map, so let's toggle these off. There we go. Um, and then as we come back down, um, I've got troops down here as well. So so a lot going on in this game, man. I, I've, uh, I've enjoyed it so far. I would say that um, my um, my production in some of these cities, uh, I'm going for, for the fourth um, barracks in a lot of them and also building air bases to boost. If you look on here, um, air bases... Air bases don't boost. I thought air bases actually boosted um, income on. Uh, there we go, resource income. I was I thought I was losing my mind. You can get a twenty five percent boost in resources. So depending on how long the game runs, we're in day thirteen. This is probably going to be about a fifty or a sixty day game. You can spend the resources to boost them. Not sure if you'll get them all back over the long term, but that's something you got to weigh out the decision on. Uh, but I do, uh, I do like being able to um, to get the higher level planes and things on the board. So I probably will research like an AWACS or some sort of a. Um, if you come on here, I'm, I'm researching strikes, and so um, I can get the next fulcrum, the MiG-29. It does allow you to have a little bit more of air superiority and superiority superiority and launch cruise missiles. But I'm really looking for this cat right here, the stealth air superiority fighter. It, it, um, it's a stealth unit that can, can reveal stealth aircraft and launch missiles um, and as well as refuel long range. But, you know, so I would love to love to get this guy going on the board and be able to fly around undetected and be able to get the first strike on stuff. So that's kind of one of the priorities. So um, I think this game is pretty much a, a W if we can um, finish off Europe before these guys want to expand. Hopefully they're too busy over here. Um, expanding this way, which I think they are. I think they're fighting Pakistan, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan. Um, I think they're trying to move through all these units here and get Iraq uh, before moving on. So hopefully that takes them the same amount of time it takes us to finish off this European coalition. Then we can turn and focus 100% on there. So anyway, hope you guys have um, learned a little bit about this little strategy, little tactic. Um, definitely take those people that are powerful, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Nigeria, make friends with them, extend the time. Uh, Chad would not be able to do that solo because if you remember, I joined the coalition as Chad and the only people that were in it at the time was like Russia and Sweden. So we were so far away from each other, but it allows you to collapse the map if you can remain in the game. It's definitely a struggle. You have to work that relation side in order to stay in the game. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the update. Um, I know I wanted to win this as a solo, but it just wasn't going to be um, it wasn't going to be possible being surrounded by the second largest coalition. So anyway, hope I have our, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you.